We're here with Terry. We're going to take some measurements of the coil winder. This is this is the hydraulic power unit that runs it. This is the coil winder itself. It's got a hydraulic motor here, coupled through a chain drive. And that, what is that? 80 chain or 100 chain? I think it's 100. That's 100 chain right there. That's pretty thick. Two bearings. And okay, so let's get the measurements Actually, there for the structure. Are three bearings because three there's bearings? another bearing up here. Okay, yeah, there's a third one, okay. third one up there. And then that, and then the, you have the, the drive hub here, which is key to this inch and a half shaft. Uh-huh. And then the shaft is long because we actually put, we have a large cone that we had made yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, bolt, and it uh, fixes onto the frame. Yeah. And well, we can actually make conical shaped coils. Would you extend this to even higher for higher, larger boilers? You could, or? but then you're then you're kind of limited. You'd have to use something heavier than this, because as you start winding up, the the pressures out here get yep. greater. Okay. And and you get a lot of flex. Okay, so let's just measure the whole thing. So starting with the cube. Okay, so, so we've got, and this is eighth inch angle, one and a half. Yeah, that's that's what it is it looks like so our base first measurement our 22. basic frame is 22 by probably 22 and thereabouts yep 22 by 22 mm -hmm. and then of course your height and your legs and all that is that that's up to you okay let's get to the just to the frame where it is there without the legs okay so so we're at looks like 20. yeah 22 so a so cube 22 uh huh. Inches. And then for this this member here, how far down is that? Just just let's just get the exact things. Okay. So we've got uh, like seven and five eighths down for this member, and measure that. That's what is that? Two inches. That's a two inch by one eighth angle, and this one is what one and a half. That's only one and a half. Yeah. One and no, that's actually one and three quarter. Okay. Angle by one eighth. Okay. So. Let's and do then the. You have a half inch plate here half holding inch. your main bearing. Uh huh. How wide is the plate? Uh, six inch. I think. Six inch plate. Yeah. The main bearing, and that's uh, the shaft is what? Inch and a half. Inch and a half shaft. And it's just a, a shaft that we bought out of the master car. Okay. That's cold rolled. Uh yeah. Okay. So we've got six there's inches. Another six inch plate for the bottom bearing. Is that three sixteenths? Uh. Yeah, probably. Probably, or is that? It's what not a quarter, and it's not. Okay. It's probably three sixteenths. Three sixteenths plate of the bottom. That's usually industry is. Mm hmm You know. Okay, and the legs now. So what are those? That's they're a just, pipe. They're just yeah. They're probably just one black pipe. pipe. One Eight inch inches high. Uh huh. Uh, with uh, adjusters welded into the bottom of them. Uh huh. Leg adjuster system. Leveling, yeah. So it's a nut welded in, and then you put the screw in. Yeah. Uh huh. And then okay. a jam on that. And then these I just put on there so we can move it around with the pallet jack. Okay. So. Okay, so let's see. Let's do the motor mounting like the way you have it right now. Okay. So you've got a platform six inch wide. Yep. And that's, uh, inch. what is that, quarter? Yep. Six. Looks like cold rolled. Six inch yeah. platform. So this is another one and a and another one and a half inch angle. More like uh, the two one inch, two yes, inch two angle inch. here, supporting that and a spacer, metal spacer mm -hmm. between that, and this diamond plate yep. is uh, just you measure just that? for bracing. So and you've got uh, four and a quarter an altitude of four and a quarter and a base of ten and. I don't have my glasses on, so it's ten and a half down there. Yeah. Uh huh. So the same thing, both sides. Both sides. <laughs> yep. And then the little reinforcement gusset yep. there, that's like a four. Quarter, that's a quarter inch plate by four. By five, five, five and a quarter. And this distance is four. That's is that? Yeah, yeah that's, that's four inch yeah. gusset. Yeah. And then the verticals here are quarter. Quarter by six. Quarter by six yeah, plates. It's, it's probably all. It was made out of stuff that you can just buy off the shelf. Yeah, and this is a right here. We have a 30-fold gear reducer. It says input horsepower is 1.48. Yeah. 
but the reducing ratio is 30. And then this hydro little hydraulic motor, DH36151-2120. Um, what is that? Danfoss, made in Denmark, hydraulic motor. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the now the main parts of how the tubing works here. So can you explain the, the function basically, Terry? Okay, um, what this is, um, it's, a, it's a clamp for your tube. Okay. Because you need to have tension on that as you pull it through. Uh -huh. Otherwise the pipe kinks and bends and, and you get an ununiform uh, uh, end result. So you, so you, so you, this clamps onto your pipe. Well, shoot, uh -huh. we might as well just load it in. Yeah, yeah we're let's, already let's try to, that. We're already to bend one here. Now, I will tell you, I can, we can show you later, we have to put a 45 degree bend on this in order for it to draw through. And we do that with that bench bender over there. Let's look at the bench bender. And uh, we'll be bending some more rows after we do this one. Is this a standard off shelf part or did you? Yeah, you Harbor Freight Pipe Bender? Yeah, it's just a bench, bench bender. Bench now bender. These, these are made to just bend flat stock and wire. We made these dies on the lathe so that we could bend the pipe. Did you use a grinding grinder attachment? No, nope, just How'd a you? regular carbide bit. Oh, okay. Uh, formed into whatever diameter we needed. Oh, so you formed... That we needed. So you made your little bit, the round, you basically profiled the bit mm -hmm. to get this done? Yep. So the bit was like that big? It's like no, three it's quarters? No, well, it's actually it was only half. Oh, and you did one side yeah, and another side? Yeah, you did one side? side at a time. Okay, so. excellent. And is that, is that just... Uh... And then I have two different pipe sizes there. There's uh, eighth inch and half, and then this has <coughs> uh, three-eighths, three-eighths and a quarter uh -huh. in the other set. Okay. So and that's just a chunk of cold rolled steel? Yep. Excellent. And this other... Yeah, we have two different size dies and they're interchangeable. You can put one in here <coughs> and have a larger larger radius bend. Uh -huh. Which one do you use for the one half inch I, pipe? Well, I, we use the small radius to make our initial bend. It just depends on what application you're using them for. What What is the initial dies that came in? What are the initial dies that came with this? Uh huh. And they're and for they're... bending f for bending flat stop. Uh huh. And how many dies did this come with? Like like uh, five or something some, or like, yeah, whole set? Five sets. Uh -huh, One, two, so. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four sets. And then there's also this for bending uh, 90 degree bends. That came with the that bender? That comes with the bender. Okay. And it also comes with instructions, but they're kind of vague. So. Uh huh. And this this is what it was there initially? That's yeah, the this, stock. This helps, this helps you hold your uh, whatever your workpiece is. Uh, tight against this axis. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh. Okay, so that's the pipe bender. Yep. Excellent.